Well, I would have felt much better if it was deployed to Afghanistan. I mean, realistically, it was it was an Al Qaeda terrorist group in Afghanistan that you know attacked my hometown and and killed a lot of American citizens. They tried to make people believe that Iraq was in some way connected to Afghanistan, and a lot of us the troops, when we were first deployed there, honestly believed it. And uh, I wasn't opposed to it at the time. I didn't really know very much about the Middle East. I was a little bit naive in that sense. Uh, w when you got there, you started to realize that, you know, that the ideologies of Saddam Hussein and Al Qaeda were totally incompatible with each other. So there was really no link, per se, between the the situation over in Afghanistan with Al Qaeda as there was with Iraq and I started to see that and a lot of people who work directly in inside of Iraq with you know with the, with the people of Iraq started to realize that the the two the two didn't mix and they they were not the same situation the american people the iraqi people the troops i mean we've all given so much and we've given this administration a number of opportunities to come up with a viable plan uh, they've pushed everything aside they have their own short-sighted ideology and and that's how they're going to do it and they, they frankly they can no longer be trusted with the lives of our service members and we have to do what we can to pressure our lawmakers to oppose their their surge plan and to try to come up with while there are no great options to to end this thing uh, we have to find a way to to bring it to a responsible redeployment and if that in includes, you know, di diplomacy and other actions, then we have to we have to take those. No, I mean, the truth is, this is the gang that can't shoot straight. I mean, they've made a mistake on every. I mean, if if there was ever a manual written on how not to fight a war, it would be this administration's playbook.